because he is still Sita as documented. And when Maharishi in the form of a deer saw the Lord Sri Ram having given the instructions and picked up his bow and his arrow, Maharishi in the form of the deer took flight and the Rama, the Prince Rama, with his bow and arrow equipped in his hand, he chased, he started chasing after that deer. Let us all join as we chant in the words of Tulsidas, as he documents the chasing Rama behind Maharishi. That chase was documented in a particular way. Tulsidas defined how Maharishi ran. And there's a very beautiful analogy that speaks to this process of chasing. Beautiful words Tulsidas used to describe how Maharishi was running. How was that? Pragatata durata karat chalapuri. He didn't say that Marich just ran. He says, Marich started showing himself and hiding. Showing himself and hiding. And as a deer would normally do, run this way, run that way. Run this way, run that way. It was not a direct path that Marich took when he was running from the Lord Sri Ram with bow and arrow in hand. And you see, Tulsidas' choice of words. Documents. Marich represents Maya. Marich represents the illusion of this world. And we are told that it is because of this illusion, because of Maya, that we forget our true purpose and existence and goal as a human being. What is our goal? A goal as a human being it is to remind ourselves that we are really spiritual beings. And it is the Maya that comes into our life. Sometimes she shows herself. Sometimes she hides, sometimes she takes a beautiful form, sometimes she's enticing, but she's not, not always consistent. And that is what catches us. It is the coming and the going, it is the flashing, it is the duranda karata chalata chalat bhuri. It is that type of Maya's characteristic that causes us to get caught into this world. It's a very beautiful song. Ramana Pakha. Ram Nam Ka Pakha Oja Ram Nam Ka Pakha Lo Ki Kya Maya Me Rakha Very very beautiful song, please sing with us. Oja Ram Nam Ka Pakha Lo Ki Kya Maya Me Rakha Oja Ram Nam Ka Pakha Lo Ki Kya Maya Me Rakha Kya Maya Me Rakha as a form of Maya, showing and hiding, titter and hither, like this, he is now jumping from one end to the next. Rama took out his bow and he stood patiently as he took aim. He shot in the direction of Maharaj. And Tulsida says, In the mere letting go of the shaft, it got and found its way exactly in the heart of that deer. And Tulsida says, as Marich in the form of the deer fell to the ground, the deer let down 
let allow a song, and that song was Lakshmani. Look at what was happening here. Marij in the form of the deer, having been shot by the arrow of Sri Rama, in his dying moments, the last sound, which was part of the plan that was devised with Ravana, was to shout out the name of Lakshmana. And out aloud he shouted, Lakshmana! And Tulsidas documented in the rest of the, the Topites that Marij, having been exposed to Sri Ram in his dying moments, he sought forgiveness and he got the blessings of Rama. But this was happening on one stage. Rama having shot Marij and having in his dying moments shouted out the name Lakshmana. Sitaji and Lakshmana were in another part of the forest and they heard, they heard the cry and Tulsidas documents a conversation as we conclude our message here this morning and Sitaji heard the cry it sounded as though it was the name, it was the voice of Rama calling for help from his brother Lakshmana Tulsidas documents the conversation between Sita and Rama. having heard Lakshmana and what she thought was the voice of Rama she had this discussion with Lakshmana she said, Lakshmana, did you not hear? your brother is in danger Make haste, go quickly. Leave me here, go and see about what is happening with your brother Rama. And like this, Tulsidas tells, when Lakshmana heard the request, he smiled and he laughed almost. He says, Sitaji, don't you know who that person is? That Rama that you're saying is in difficulty, he is all knowing, but he is more than just all knowing. With a twinkling of an eyebrow, he can annihilate this entire creation. How could he possibly be in trouble? And like this, the conversation went on between Lakshmana and Sita. And Sita started getting angry. And the documents by saying, she started insulting. She started chastising and ridiculing Lakshmana. So much so that Lakshmana could not take it anymore. And having, trying to make a decision now, knowing in his heart that his brother will never be in trouble, but trying to establish some sort of understanding with Sitaji and she having insulted him, he decided he will honor her request and go and find out about what is happening with Sri Dham. But Tulsidas documents in Chepa Katha that before Lakshmana left, he went and he took a stick and using the appropriate mantras and using the right formula, he drew a line of protection around the hut, the Kutya, in which Sitaji was dwelling at the time. And he says, oh Sitaji, I am leaving, I am going now. But in leaving, I have established this line of protection. And that line is referred to as a Rekha. And that Rekha represents the line of protection that Dharma provides for us. And in so doing, you and I all know this Katha very well. That the time came when Lakshmana left. And Ravana was sitting quietly, patiently, to see when Sita would be exposed by herself. And he came disguised as a sadhu, as a hermit, trying to get the pity and the sorrow of Sitaji. And like this, having used tact and diplomacy and all sorts of creative ways to entice her to cross that line, Ravana knew he could not get into that line. He could not have abducted Sitaji if he got into the line. But having used all sorts of different strategies, Tulsidas told us that he finally got Sita to cross the line, the Rekha. And we all know what happened thereafter. Having grabbed and abducted Sitaji, she started crying. Ha Raghuveer, Ha Lakshmana, I have done so many wrong in my life. Especially this one, look at what has happened. I have asked my Ram to leave. He left behind Lakshmana, O Lakshmana. Against your wishes, I also instructed you to leave. And you left behind for me that line of protection. That also I transgress. Lakshmana, O Rama, please don't forget me. Please don't think that I have done such a great wrong. Please, O Rama, O Raghuveer, O Lakshmana, please come to my rescue.